What I like about what Leash Hurling are doing right now is they're definitely looking for that right balance of quality management and probably a bit of, a bit of a profile too to make it attractive. Like Eddie Brennan, he's, he's after confirming that he's staying on for 2020. And like, so if you were from Leash and you were worried about this, I'd say you're delighted that it's been, it's been nailed down. Um, but like, if you look at some of the other competition in, the, in Munster and Leinster, Galway are waiting on a manager, Waterford waiting on a manager, Clare haven't confirmed their plans for next year. It's not really something that you want to be worrying about at this stage of the year. You want your manager in place, you want everything planned, players that are already out of the championship or, or will be out of their club championship in the next week or two, you want to get them on programmes, make sure rehab is being done for anyone that's had surgery or, or has had knocks. So for, for Leash now, they've got their man in place, no doubt Niall Corcoran will be with him. Worked really well last year. They steamed through to Joe McDonough with minimum fuss, beat Dublin, of course, and then gave a creditable account of themselves against uh, Tipperary. Of course, losing... I mean, they were with, uh, down to 14 men for a lot of the second half, and wrongly so, it shouldn't have been a red card, but they were they were never going to win the game, and to get clapped off, being clapped off after losing the game comfortably isn't going to do next year, so there needs to be signs of progression, but they're going to be so hard in that group against Galway, Wexford, Kilkenny and Dublin, definitely Dublin going to want revenge for, uh, against them as well, so it's the first foray back into Leinster for them since the... the, the you know the changing of the system so they want to be at their best and having Eddie there is crucial then having Derek McGrain under Liam Dunn's minor team I mean no matter what way Derek tries to play it down this is a huge coup for the county because you know well first of all he, he did try to play it down he was on OTB AM and he says I'd be involved in some capacity it'll be very much an ancillary role I'm doing a night course in executive coaching and positive psychology so as part of that there'll, there'll be a placement opportunity involved I was approached by a friend of mine who's involved at Leash and I'd be involved in some sort of coaching capacity there in the new year, but it certainly won't be as prominent as was speculated. It's going to be a supporting role to the already appointed manager and coaching team. So it's a means of accelerating his own process and get better at what I didn't do well when I was involved with Waterford. But anyway, you slice it, it's a huge coup for Leash because imagine the full buy-in from any player who was wavering at minor level. And I'm not saying they were, but like if you were kind of thinking, will I, won't I give it a go? Um, are other things kind of uh, more prominent in my life maybe this is the thing that will make you buy in more maybe some players are more determined to impress Derek whatever it is but it's definitely going to lift the profile in the county and having two guys like Derek McGrath and Eddie Brennan two lads who people see regularly on the Sunday game that's going to get full buy in in the county that's going to get people more interested in. and considering that they've now got quality coaching behind them and results behind them it just seems like a win-win for Leash